opens this door, man. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> it was crazy. Make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just. <gasps> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty? Hello, Bigby. Stay I wasn't grass. expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. So. Where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. It's not what I might be thinking. <laughs> okay. That's weird. to the desk guy. Hey, you wink? You know he ain't wake, man. Probably <laughs> for the best. Yeah. You know you ain't, he ain't wake. <laughs> hey, suit of armor, though. Suit of armor? Ooh, mailbox. What's in the mailbox, though? What's in the in mailbox, box, though, man? <laughs> Hey, let's get it. Seventh day in a row. Okay. <laughs> Wait for that elevator. Where go over here? Is anything over here? No. Okay. It's crazy. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Honestly. So, staying out of this. have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. I was like, bro, I'm staying out of it, man. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing.
I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> God damn it, baby. Damn it. Bluebeard's file. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I have in my house. Oh god, pig. Pig. Slap. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour, or go up to the farm. It's not complicated, Colin. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself <laughs> down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes <laughs> I take them to the farm. Fuck oh. you. Damn. That was a low blow. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I 
don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Finally, some shut eye, man. Over this bad boy. Big B. Snow. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. dead body Who's under it? Who's under it? Ah, oh, the girl! No. You knew this girl? Is. Yep. She's, she's not a Mundy, right? Just Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Alright, let's see. 
She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Hmm. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. <laughs>